So what we can learn from this is that it's not so much reducing your sodium intake that's important, but it's keeping the balance of potassium to sodium in check. Although that's not what this video is about at all. Today we are unboxing a Nokia 301. Now, I'm probably thinking Nokia 301, what is that? It seems to be a phone that was made uh, quite toward the end of uh, Nokia, well, the Nokia that we know, or I knew, with their beautiful brick phones. Oh wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Yikes! Wow, that's nice. So that's the unboxing done. So it's now out of the box. Not too exciting. There's a bit of protective plastic, not on the phone, but I can attach it myself. That's very kind of them. I believe these are probably refurbished. I mean, the fact that the battery is not in the bag, but next to or on top of the bag, sort of a dead giveaway. So let's have a look at what region it came from. Uh, two prongs, so what market has two prongs, much like the US and Japan, but has that sort of text on the top, which I can't focus on, so I'm not zoomed in enough. Slam! I think that's because you can slam it on a desk. I had to guess it would be uh, somewhere in the Asia region. Very cheap construction, uh, at least the box is, so it's got a manual and some earphones, that's exciting. Is that a 3.5? That's a 3.5 mil jack. Never thought I'd see that on a Nokia product. Always had those little dinky ones, so you had to buy their stupid handset and uh, hands free kit. Let me get the phone out. Hang on, just have a look at the curtains. Oh, yeah, you can focus on the curtains fine. Wow, that's um, it's a bit bigger than I was hoping. The button pad's a bit spongy. I mean, they're hard buttons. Let's have a look at it. So they're a bit spongy. You'll notice that it's sort of not actually pressing the button there. So I would recommend not buying one of these. Although, I mean, if you're looking for 39 days standby life, what does this just slide? Is it one of these slidey ones? No, I need to sort of dig in. Dig into it. Oh. Curtain mode, activate. At least it has a micro USB. So the internals look much like any old Nokia. As you can see there. Got your regular thumb in the normal place and I guess those are speaker holes. Battery goes in there, got a camera on the back. It's actually quite a heavy phone. I wasn't expecting it to be as heavy as it is. It actually, funnily enough, weighs as much as my iPhone 4 5S. So now I'm starting to contemplate seeing how big the phone actually is, whether I should uh, maybe just stick with the iPhone. Well, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Would I recommend this phone? Uh, battery's light, that's a first. Would I recommend it? We'll come back to that in a later video. Stay tuned. Remember, potassium to sodium.